course, when strolls, storms roll in Franklin County, one of the first areas in North Alabama to be hit. Yeah, the Franklin County EMA says there are shelters available for people to safely ride at this severe weather threat. News 19's Addison Willman met with those EMA officials earlier today. He joins us now live from Russellville with the latest. Addison. As thunderstorms move from Mississippi to Alabama, Franklin County is one of the first to see them. Franklin County Deputy EMA Director Ron Coates says that they, they're expecting a lot of rain and high winds later on tonight, as well as the threat of some tornadoes. They're encouraging residents to stay prepared and plan ahead before that bad weather arrives. With the forecast that we've received, it, it looks like a repeat of last Friday night, uh, scheduled to arrive somewhere 10, 11 p.m. Coates says that people should not panic as these storms approach. However, it's never too early to start prepping and making sure you have a plan in place to keep your family protected. In the event that there is major damage in the area, it's always good to have certain items handy, such as non-perishable food, bottled water, and multiple ways to communicate. The ones that hit Friday night, Lauderdale County, people been without power for a week. Okay, what do I need to survive? for a week without, uh, you know, power, maybe water. Coates says that residents should have a safe space in their home in the case of a tornado or strong winds. If there is not a safe place to go where you live, you should find a local storm shelter. We'll notify individuals uh, to open up the storm shelters. We have 32 in the county, uh, some controlled by the, the cities and towns, the others by our volunteer fire departments. If you need to find a safe space, we have a full list of all 32 of those shelters over on our website at WHNT.com. Live in Russellville, Addison Willman, News 19.